Hello, ERBC families. Today in my devotional, I have an interesting question to ask you. What is your favorite recipe to cook throughout the holidays? The reason why I'm thinking about this question is because I just listened in the radio that cooking and baking is one of the activities that people look forward every Christmas season. And the reason why is because it brings warmth uh, to their souls and their hearts. Another reason is because it builds relationships between friends and between family members. And it because it builds memories, right? It helps to build memories when we cook and we bake together. And that just brought me thinking that what will be the perfect recipe to have for us to have a great relationship with God? What will be that great recipe that we can put together where we can find joy, peace, that warmth, that where we can build a strong relationship with God and with others around us? And I want to read from John 3, 16 and remind you about this beautiful verse and how this can be a great mix for a recipe. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his own one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I was thinking, having a relationship with God every day is something that allows us to find the joy and the peace that we need. What is the key and the component in this verse that we can put together for us to have a wonderful Christmas season and not just the joy of Christmas, but all year round? And this verse is telling us that God sent his only one son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So we start with knowing that one of the great the great ingredients to have a, a, a happiness in our lives is by believing that God sent his only one son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. That's the first ingredient that we need, believing that our God saves, that he sent our savior. The second one is that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Knowing that when we believe now we are part of the kingdom of heaven, now we are part um, of God's forever family. And how can we apply this to our lives every day? Well, maybe if we add to the mix of that recipe, knowing that God is our Savior, right? Believing in Him, knowing that we can have eternal life, that's something great to add to that joy that we're looking for. What's another ingredient? What about by reading the Bible and spending some time in the morning? That would be a great ingredient to add to the recipe, to have that relationship with God every day, reading his Bible and praying to him. There's so many components that can actually, you can add to the recipe to make it perfect. Some of you may be thinking about what about if we add serving others? What about if we add praising God? What about if we add a little bit of having faithful conversations with our friends around us? There's so much more, and I'm pretty sure that if I ask you, give me one ingredient for the perfect recipe to grow in our relationship with God, I'm pretty sure you're already thinking about probably a couple different steps how we can do it. I will be praying that together we can actually find that recipe. And if we don't have a recipe in mind to grow in our relationship with God, maybe we can start building one up. Maybe it is, as I said, by spending some time in the morning with him. Maybe it is by deciding that today you're going to serve somebody in need. Maybe it is by saying today I will have a, a spiritual conversation or I, I will have a faithful conversation with somebody that needs it. There's so many components, as I said before. Let's pray together that we can find that perfect recipe that allows us to grow in Christ Jesus and that allows us to remember that the joy comes from loving him and knowing that we have a Savior. Amen.